I look crazy. Think of having like a runny nose, but instead of it being mucus, it's blood. Now we're gonna take the saline and just go like this. Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome to this nose job recovery vlog. These bruises look like somebody just painted lines on my under eye area. But anyway, it's 10, 12 a.m. and I'm finally like up and moving. I've just been chilling in bed all morning, watching TikToks, watching YouTube videos, texting people back. My throat kind of hurts. I called my mom a little bit earlier just to say hi. She wanted to see how I was. Cleaned up my nose. That's basically it. But it's time for me to finally make some food. So I'm gonna make me and Rachel some oatmeal because I'm hungry. Yeah, I need to eat before I take some of the medications. They have antibiotics I need to take and then this other thing that if I don't eat before it can burn a hole in my stomach. So I have to eat. Last night we ran out of gauze. So Rachel was really, really nice and she ran to the CVS got like a whole bunch of gauze and this spray called afrin spray which is supposed to help stop the bleeding or like the drainage it's still draining but like it's slowing down a little bit it's like the afrin spray was working but i'm so swollen i need to throw my ice pack in the freezer i iced it a little bit this morning but like my under eyes are really swollen and like right here and like the whole i'm sure everything is really swollen underneath the cast too but yeah i should throw that in the freezer a bit so i can continue icing after i eat breakfast but let's go ahead and make some oatmeal get the morning off on the right foot so i made my oatmeal but my chocolate chips expired like last year this time so I can't use them. Rachel said she has chocolate chips somewhere, but it's okay. I'm just gonna eat it plain. Like my taste isn't really working that well anyway, because I don't know, I guess like anesthesia or like the breathing tube or whatever, but gotta eat the food. So I'm gonna go, I already gave her her, so I'm gonna go in there and we're gonna just relax and eat some food for a second. <laughs> I look like a mess. It's the end of day two. I really didn't do much today at all. I just was feeling like really sore. Like my neck's really sore. My like ribs, shit, I think I have to sneeze is really sore but one of my nostrils just like i don't know if you can hear like it started having a breathing airway my hair is such a mess i haven't showered i don't know if i said this but i haven't showered in like two days now um but i took all the medications for today that i was supposed to take and ate three meals i really haven't had that much of an appetite i really can't taste food either so it like doesn't make that much of a difference i also have a poop but like i wasn't really eating that much like today was the most i've eaten well i guess there's only been two days but this tape is really fucking with my skin so i took this off for a little bit and was just kind of letting like the blood drip out onto gauze but just not take on my face so just like holding it and i iced a little bit but i don't know if it really did anything my bruises are getting darker i'm still bleeding a lot i don't know what a lot is actually compared it's just like think of having like a runny nose but instead of it being mucus it's blood that's what it is so it's not like a nose bleed it's like a runny nose of, of blood yeah this isn't my best day but like i also have a sore throat but the pain medication helps with that the way i could describe this it's like it doesn't really hurt it's just really uncomfortable it's like a lot of pressure you kind of just feel like you have a really really bad cold plus a sore throat and like mucus dripping in your throat <laughs> Yes, I'm complaining. It could be worse. My tummy really hurts though. That's the thing that hurts right now. Maybe it could be the food I'm eating or the medication not sitting well in my stomach. I don't know. It's more like my side, but I am so exhausted. I really didn't sleep well last night. So I'm gonna try to go to sleep now. It's like 9.42. Probably gonna try to go to sleep before 10 and I'll check back in with you guys in the morning. I know I need to shower at some point, but at the same time, you're not supposed to get the cast wet and you're not supposed to get steam on it. So maybe i'll take a bath tomorrow because rachel has a bath we'll see but that is it for today hello it's day three of recovery i don't know it was day yesterday one because the surgery was tuesday yesterday was wednesday today's thursday so i guess i don't know if this is two or three or what but i am still super swollen but i was able to sleep a little bit last night i'm still bleeding so much from my nose i don't know if that's normal I guess I'll just ask and see. My throat is feeling a little better because it, you know, they had that like tube in there. Throat's feeling a little better. My cast is starting to get a little itchy. <laughs> Updates. What else? Uh, I think today I could try to show you guys how I like take care of this and clean this up because it keeps bleeding. I could show you guys my routine for that. I know it's kind of gross, kind of graphic, so I'll warn you beforehand. I keep having to retape the gauze on and like it took a chunk of my skin out. So that was fun and I don't like this tape. 
pulling it hurt these are my bruises and like there's this really really puffy swollen area right here i think i'm gonna have to try to ice it i iced twice yesterday i really haven't been icing that much so swollen yeah i mean i woke up feeling kind of like eh. today i had my therapy or i had therapy this morning it was like 8 a.m west coast time 11 a.m philly time why is it focusing like that i don't understand i don't want this thing so I did that and I've just been up since. Now it's like almost 12. I haven't taken any of my meds yet or eaten anything. So I should probably make breakfast. I'll probably make the same oatmeal that I made yesterday and take the medication. I can't taste anything. So it's like there's no point in eating good food. I should just stick with like soups and stuff like I was doing yesterday and the day before. And I think I should get some pineapple because apparently pineapple is good for swelling. So maybe I'll try to get that. I'm still wearing the same clothes I've been wearing the past two days have not showered i don't know if i'm even gonna shower today maybe i'll try tomorrow i don't know if there's a point i just hope rachel doesn't smell me or doesn't i don't smell bad to her she's the only person i've seen so and the only person i'm going to see because we are still in a pandemic quarantining that is my update so far not much else going on i should probably try to edit some footage later maybe try to get some more tiktoks done maybe take my hair out and put it in a bun or something who knows but as of right now i'm still feeling incredibly lazy and like yesterday my whole like torso body it's still really sore right here my like ribs i don't know what was done <laughs> it was like maybe i died on the table and they woke me up and like no it would hurt right here <laughs> and also they would tell you that it's like oh I think it's just because I've been breathing out of my mouth and I have to use my diaphragm to breathe and I typically am a shallow breather and I have to be like a, a deep breather, something like that. So I think I'm just gonna make food and try to clean up this area. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, everything's kind of a mess. I'm a little bit of a mess. I don't feel cute yet, but it'll all be worth it in the end. I'll feel cuter than I ever have and everything on my face will be in this right place all together. So yeah, I'll check back in in a little bit. are on our way to the doctors so my nose is still bleeding they said just to come in and check on it make sure it's fine i don't know if that's normal or not but i was a little concerned so that's why we're going to check it out and i'm like so puffy i'm a chipmunk that's the update for now later so i just got out of the doctors my camera always does that and so rachel asked what yeah, wrong. Like, but basically I have like blood clots in there like and like he said I should just get a neti pot He like pulled out blood clots and stuff uh, and it's just like the drip of the blood uh, <laughs> So he said I should get like a neti pot and just like try to clean it because it's just like from the swelling Okay, yeah, uh, I know it's like really uh, it's kind of gross, but those really are hard. Good. Those are like, oh, those are complex. Have you ever done it? Yeah, I love them, but I can't imagine doing it with a nose job. Oh. But he just like put some nose spray in there and it's in my throat. Uh, so like, apparently this is all normal and yeah. I, I got freaked out because there was like a lot of blood dripping out of my nose for- But now is it getting better it seems? I mean, I don't think it's less drippy now, a little bit. This is just all part of getting a nose job, I guess, you know? That's fair. You gotta deal with the gross stuff. All right, so now I'm just chilling at the house, drinking a Jamba Juice. I look like a weird fish. So here's what my face looks like today. Here are my bruises and swelling. I don't know if it's going down, actually. I feel like it's the same, but I'm able to kind of like just not wear the mustache gauze thing. So that's nice. I'm just, I have to clean out my nose every so often or like, you know, wipe away little drips of blood, but it's not too bad. And I think the weirdest part is like my mouth just looks funny. So... <laughs> just me and Neo. Neo! Hello, boo boo. Where are you? I think I'm just going to try to film a few nose job TikToks, maybe. We'll see. I look ridiculous. So I have a meeting at 3 and it's 1.14 currently. And this camera's about to die. But I did take my medications after I ate. I haven't taken any pain meds because the pain doesn't hurt and my throat feels better. So we're really improving today. And I'll probably check back in towards the end of the day. Or maybe I'll show you how I clean my my nose today or something i don't know i can't smile properly also it really hurts when i laugh i can't laugh because like my face spreads i can't smile right like my lips like just cover they won't lift that's what it is my lip is like drooping and it won't it won't lift 
That is all. Later. I don't remember when I last updated you guys, but I look like such a chipmunk. It's 616. I've been feeling kind of like nauseous. It's been like hard to breathe in my chest today, like towards the end, towards the afternoon, evening time. As you can tell, I'm really stuffed up, but the good news is I haven't had to use the drip pad all day. Like the bleeding is so light that I just have to like wipe my nose every so often. And I think I'm gonna heat up some soup that I ordered from yesterday. I ordered two things of soup and I still have one left. Maybe I'll have that. I didn't really eat lunch. I just had a big breakfast. So I think I'll have that as like a late lunch and then maybe like make food of Rachel later or heat up something from the freezer. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm feeling like a lot better today, but just like a little like ugh in my chest. So I don't know. I feel like a who from Whoville. Like Okay, I look crazy, but it's day five of my recovery. I just picked up a bowl, really yummy, from Harvest Bowls. And I got Rachel one too. I also got a snack for later. It's like they're nachos. I could show you, it's really good. I don't know if I could taste anything yet still. I'm sitting by her pool, just relaxing. It's so nice out here. My hair is really crazy right now. I think I might try to wash it today, but it's like 11.30ish. I woke up pretty early, but I've just been chilling. Like really haven't done much. Just about to eat this first and then take the rest of the medications. That is our morning. I feel like my swelling is like still really, really bad, but my bruises look like they're starting to heal a little bit, so that's nice. And no bleeding for my nose, really. So I'm just gonna eat this now. It is like 3 p.m. on my fifth day of recovery. I think it's fifth. And honestly, I washed my hair, braided it, just get it on my face. Don't want it interrupting the cast. It wasn't that hard to wash my hair without getting the cast, but I just had to face the other direction and catch any water that fell. So it wasn't like a big problem, and I just use some nasal sprays to kind of clear out my airways and I really just need to get out of the house. Rachel's at a music thing right now, but I'm like, you know what? Why don't I go for a walk? I'll walk around the block, see like where I end up walking to. Who knows? Maybe I could walk to Jamba Juice. I don't know if I really want to juice because I had an acai bowl this morning and I just had um, the nacho bowl from Harvest Bar, which is where I got the acai bowl from. It was kind of like my snack lunch thing, but yeah, I don't know what I want to do or where I want to walk. My camera died, so I just changed the battery, but I was just saying like, I'm not really sure what I want to do right now. Like I really just want to get outside, get some fresh air. Like I haven't exercised at all in so long and I can't work out for like five to six more weeks, they said after the surgery, six weeks. So I guess it's like almost five now and like my butt butt is going away. So all that being said, I'm a little like not stir crazy, but I just want to like move. I just feel the need to move right now. So I think going for a walk is a good idea. I'll text my friend Vivian, see what she's up to while I'm walking. She wants to join because she lives like 10 minutes away and then later on i'm going to start editing the footage because i really really need to get on all that i'm feeling good i'm feeling a lot better and i just want to move you know okay i took myself for a walk and i found this really cool park not too far from rachel's house i walked over the freeway to get here i can show you the way back i'm getting tired though so i think i'm gonna walk back but nice little park good vibes morning guys it is 10 a.m i've been up since like 7 30 though i woke up showered chilled had a little acai bowl or like the rest of my acai bowl from yesterday for breakfast and now it's time to take some medications i get my cast off literally this time 10 a.m on tuesday so very soon thank goodness i just can't wait for this thing to be off of my face and i can start wearing makeup again and covering up my bruises still don't have too much upper lip movement but it's starting to come back a little bit but like when i smile i still look like constipated but anyway i didn't wear the drip pad at all yesterday i don't think i wore it the day before and today oh yesterday i had like when i went on my walk i'm a little stuffy i have to like we're gonna do the nose cleaning out in a bit but when i went for my walk yesterday i was able to breathe so well i was like stuffy right now but i was able to breathe so well and it was like a, literally a breath of fresh air it was so nice i started going through the footage my vlog footage yesterday and I saw the clip of what my nose looks like right out of surgery and I was like oh my god 
it's such a cute little button like i just oh, i want it to be here now but also it's like swollen it's still gonna be swollen for like honestly it could be swollen for another year because that happens with rhinoplasties but the swelling does tend to go down a lot in the first month that's exciting but this is a long healing process so i just have to be patient with that and like the doctor said basically that the nose you see like right after the cast is not like the final result at all and the nose you see in the first month is still not the final result so he wants you to like your nose but he doesn't want you to love your nose until like a year in basically because that's when you have the final result i just have to like know that and be patient and be like all right well might still be a little swollen might still be a little bit bigger than we planned on but you know it will get there so i am still excited to get this cast off and see whatever is underneath and just be able to have my face move i feel like the swelling has gone down a lot i might try to ice a little bit in a bit just to help with that but my cheeks were so swollen the other day i feel like my eyes are less swollen i feel like my bruises are actually starting to heal a bit i'll get some like better clips in a second of my actual face so you can see we're almost done the prenazole is that what it's called i don't know i have two of these to take one tablet before breakfast and one tablet before bedtime and then i finished the amoxicillin today i am actually horrible at swallowing pills um, that was messy for no reason <laughs> I'm gonna take one amoxicillin and then I'll take another one for lunch and then another one in the prenosol for bedtime. Ow. Also, I'm gonna take an arnica because these help to get rid of bruising and swelling. I could take two. Arnica really does work. So we did all my medications for the morning. I feel like I should take an allergy medication just in case because I was around dogs yesterday and it did make me a little stuffy. I don't want my sneezes to affect my nose job in any type of way. So just to be on the safe side, we're gonna take a allergy relief medication in preparation of any allergens that I might come across. And that is it. So now I'm going to show you how I unclog my nose, I guess. From the stuffiness basically we go to the bathroom we first take this nasal congestion spray called afrin this is what the doctor recommended it's really good do like two to three pumps of this in each nostril then we take this saline mist and i can use this as much as i want i think that one might have like medicines in there i don't know i use it like twice a day for two or three pumps each and then this i can use throughout the day just to clean out any cloggages what i was doing when there was a lot of blood which has subsided a lot is i would take the hydrogen peroxide and a q-tip and just like go in i'll grab a q-tip and show you i know it's kind of like gross and then i'd also just use like paper towels to just like wipe off the area i know there's like blood right here it's on the tape like i would wipe it off my nose if i could but it's just like on the tape and i don't want to take the tape off because that is holding my nose together i don't know how that's gonna affect the swelling or keeping the cartilage and bones together so we're just gonna wear dry blood till tuesday so first i start off with the afrin i love this setup this is rachel's like cabinet that i opened up there's like a mirror on the side a mirror here also a mirror here oops i just spilled some afrin i didn't even know it was here until one day i just was like oh i just stumbled upon it it's like a secret cabinet because like it just looks like a straight up mirror you know you wouldn't expect it to open up but it does and nobody knows that like no one who comes here knows that like she didn't even know that till i showed her so i just keep my stuff in here like i keep my like tooth uh, this is these ones are empty right here but i keep my toothpaste mouthwash tooth brush dental floss razor i also put shampoos and stuff in here but they're in the shower right now i literally use this to just keep my stuff here and no one ever knows like no guest ever use it so pretty cool we love that for me let's spray this in my nose oh and what i was saying is like this shelf is so perfect for holding the camera to do like morning routine activities like so good this stuff tastes nasty. I should have like made a warning if you guys are grossed out by like no stuff or blood. I don't think I'm bleeding anymore, so I think we're okay on that. But if you're grossed out by no stuff, definitely skip this part. Now we're gonna take the saline and just go like this. Basically the same thing. It'll take a second to kind of like completely clear through and then I'll have to kind of like dab my nose a bit. So what I'll do is I'll take a Q-tip and some hydrogen peroxide and this shit will get rid of any dried blood or just blood in general in your nose or on anything really. And I just pour it on the Q-tip, each side, one for each nostril. And then I just gently go in. I don't go too far up 
but I just go around and sometimes there's blood clot like I just got a little bit of blood out of this one I don't really have that much blood anymore now it's more like I guess mucus I'll usually do like one or two or I'll do like a dried one just to make sure I get everything out sorry this is like super gross go in a little circle really gently because I don't know I think there might be stitches in my nostrils too and I just don't want to hurt anything so I'm super careful that is it I'm usually able to like breathe pretty well I mean like I did it yesterday and I only I really only had to do this like twice two or three times yesterday so I'm assuming this will probably be good enough for the rest of the day and I'll probably do it one more time at night but like the first few days I had to do this so much and like the bleeding was so much but it wasn't really bleeding it was drainage and I don't think I was doing it right but then when I went and saw Dr. Simone he like showed me how to handle it properly and he got out like a bunch of blood clots and then I was like literally fine afterwards like the past few days since seeing him so I've been able to breathe I like the bleeding like or the drainage like stopped and I've been good so everything is just going so well with this and I'm so excited for Tuesday I'm gonna go edit some footage and I will check in with you guys in a little bit we really ordered all of this food might be too much but we can eat for days and it's gonna be delicious good morning guys this is my last day with the cast on by this time tomorrow i'm gonna have the cast off it's 11 17. i appear as though i'm getting a late start to my morning but really i actually woke up at 7 a.m kind of chilled in bed for a little bit and then started editing this weekend's video which is a haul which is already up now so either you've seen it or if you haven't seen it you should go watch it that's what i've been doing this morning finally it was like you know what i am freaking hungry i'm starving so we are running to this place called blue jam cafe in tarzana to get a little breakfast bowl thing it's like a tofu it's a tostada tofu tostada i think i also might pick up a smoothie potentially depending on the vibes and i also have to do one pit stop on the way there but yeah this is my morning it's nothing too exciting i also haven't declogged my nose so if i sound really stuffy that's why i need to do that when i get back and take the last prenazole medication and then i've done my medications for forever i'm feeling so much better today i was feeling really good yesterday too i'm starting to get my energy back starting to feel more like myself oh, a butterfly is that a butterfly or is that a moth i don't know can't tell but i am starting to feel back to almost normal i feel like the swelling has gone down so much i mean we still have bruises the bruising is not that bad but still like there i'm still very swollen don't get me wrong like i'm still like but this part used to be like crazy swollen and it's gone down so much still have very little upper lip movement <laughs> like i can't show you my teeth fully but it's okay it'll come back as time goes on you know we can't really see much of the nose because underneath the cast but i feel like the shape looks really good i'm pretty content with everything but like you can't speed up the process of healing it has to just take its time and do its thing i'm just gonna be really patient and yeah so excited for tomorrow though oh my god i can't wait to be able to i guess just not have a thing on my face <laughs> like my face got really oily oh, okay also right here is like peeling because of the when i was band-aiding the drip pad thingy i kept peeling off my skin so this is like kind of crusty and peeling but otherwise my face everywhere else is like really oily right now so i can't wait to get this off even the cast is like super oily underneath and kind of like peeling on the sides so i can't wait to get that off and actually just like finally wash my face for the first time in a week it's gonna be so nice but that is our updates for this morning so i'm gonna go run my errands and get some food and i will check back in with you guys a little later all right so i finished running my errands and i got some food this is a tostada tofu tostada from blue jam cafe and i had it the other day and it was really good so i was like why not get it again because i didn't want an acai bowl i really you know i love my acai bowls out here but i had a bunch so i was like let's get something a little different and i had this once already but i get it again i'm such a creature of habit i also got a smoothie but it's in the fridge because it's really hot out like i took off my sweatshirt oh my god this crop shirt i cropped too much like it's also a little stretched right now but yeah so i'm just enjoying the great outdoors rachel's the nicest backyard for just chilling eating hanging out reading anything <laughs> she's the nicest backyard i love it little pool too and then like right in front of me is like this little tree garden area like cute cute little fire pit for like chilling and 
grilling and roasting marshmallows. I don't think she's able to roast marshmallows in this because there's chemicals, so I think we'd have to use something else, but still really cute. Good vibes. So I'm gonna eat this and then probably drink my smoothie and go back to editing because we have so much content to edit. Thank God, I needed that. We need a little kick in the butt. I also like cleaned up my nose a little bit before because it was like really stuffy, but I think I like accidentally hit a stitch or something because it kind of hurts a little bit. So I'm like, mm. but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> Guys, I completely forgot to end the vlog off, so I'm hiding my nose right now, but I'm in my room in Philly. That is it for this video. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you never miss another one of my videos. I post every Saturday at 3 p.m. EST, which is 12 p.m. PST. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you in my next vlog, which is the final reveal of my new nose. Love you guys so much. Bye.